All right. In this video, we're going to go over um, some questions that I got in a um, in a group activity this morning. So um, we'll go in in no real particular order. We'll start with these green questions. Um, what was your favorite recent book or article you read and why? I don't read very often, but I did start to read the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe Complete Timeline book, and which is now outdated, Deadpool and Wolverine being out and Agatha out um, all along and whatnot. So I did enjoy reading that, because, and the reason I enjoyed reading it, I like Marvel stuff. What can I say? doesn't just have to be MCU for me. It could be other stuff as well, which is now multiversally in the MCU. What are you excited about this week? Um, well, this week's pretty much over, and I would say that the group activity that I did, that was pretty fun. Um, I was pretty excited to do that. What's the last thing you completed that you are are uh, proud of? Um, that's a tough one. Um, I guess the new eight Avengers Age of Ultron set that I got, where it is recreating the opening scene of the movie. Um, what's something small that would improve your day today? I really enjoy doing YouTube videos, so doing this, making a YouTube video right now, is something that has improved my day. And the, uh, the group meeting again. You'll find a recurring pattern for... Um, when I talk about the group that I did, it, it was really cool. I liked it. Um, what's something you want to get better at and why? Um, I think races in Lego games or in racing games in general, because I am so bad at those things. Um, my, what was your first ever job? Um, my first job was as a courtesy clerk with Safeway here in Tacoma. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, if if I could pick up an, a new skill in an instant, what would it be? I want to play. I want to. I think um, probably a cello because Piano Guys Cello Wars is really cool. It's there where they turn their their bows into lightsabers and use and use a blaster and whatnot and it's it's really cool um what's a hobby or side project you have been meaning to take up um videography um when packing for a trip what is one thing out of the obvious that you always bring the obvious things would be clothes, um, phone, charger, uh, the phone itself, um, and a toothbrush. I think um, what I would bring is, outside of those items, um, Maybe some hard candy. Um, what simple thing still blows my mind? Um, I don't think I really have an answer for this one. Um, what simple thing still blows my mind? Yeah, I, I don't know. I can't answer that one. I'm sorry. What's the most useful thing I own and why? Um, I'm going to say my PS5, because if my 4K player 
doesn't want to play a particular 4K, which is the case sometimes. I put it in the PS5 and it works just fine. Um, what is one of my pet peeves? Um, people cursing around me, I, I guess. Um, what is a popular movie I can't stand? I don't know if it's popular or not, but the movie Disaster Movie drives me insane. Um, whenever I show it in my in collection updates or whatever, I, I or rankings, I go Disaster Movie. Yes, it is, because it's not only a movie about disasters, but in an in and of itself, it is a disaster of a movie. Um, something that sets the tone for the entire movie is. In the opening, or either opening song or the second song, some of the lyrics are, there's a hobo peeing in the punch. Sets the tone for the whole movie right there. Just saying. Um, what musical instrument would you play if you could? The cello. I already mentioned that. If I had to pick an alternate one, I guess um, a traditional drum set. Not one of the electronic ones that, that it has headphone capabilities. Um, if you lived in another historical period, uh, would you? If so, which one? Um, assuming we could go to the future as well, uh, I would. And I would like to go to the 2050s, because I think that would be cool. Um, what is the most used emoji on, on my pseudo phone right now? I'm not able to use emojis, so non applicable. Before then, or before I, before I got a flip phone, Mark II, I would say probably the the um, hard eyes or a smiley face or like a thumbs up. Um, if you could be famous for one thing, what would it be? sparking a cinematic universe to rival the MCU. Or, to be clear, the Infinity Saga of the MCU, where it was majority good movies. Um, good content. Now, I think the Multiverse Saga is going really well. Uh, I agree with Nicepool when he said that it's been uphill since Endgame. Of course, Endgame is a really high point. But as far as the multiverse saga itself is concerned, separating it from the, the Infinity Saga, it's all a high note for me. Um, if you were at a trivia night, what category would you know the most about the MCU? What's an obscure TV show or movie that everyone should watch and why? Um, I'm not sure how obscure it is. But there's a show called Anne with an E. It's the Anne of Green Gables story. It is extremely cute. So that is why everyone should watch it, because it's extremely cute. Um, if you could become a supernatural creature, what would it be and why? Supernatural creature. Hmm. Um... I think I would probably become a kraken because I already feel like a fish out of water. Um, if if your home was packed full of golf balls, how would you remove them? <laughs> okay, so this one's going to be a little bit more fun to answer. Um, honestly, I think I would get like one of those uh, t-shirt cannons and try and just launch them into. <laughs> the neighbor's yard. <laughs> uh, that would be so fun. <laughs> Just like, hey, you're going to help have some golf balls. <laughs> um, what two companies would you like to be sponsored by and why? Lego, because most Lego products are really awesome looking. And... Um, What two companies? Another company I would want to be sponsored by. Um, uh, 
I think Mattel, because I like using the, the Uno cards a lot. Uh, what was the last TV show you binged, and what did you like about it? So the last full series that I binged was the X-Men Japanese anime show. Um, obviously, I did English dub and sub. Um, and what did I like about it? It's a Marvel property. Uh, kind of a cop-out answer, so I'm going to add to that and say that um, the character development was quite good in that show, I felt. What is my favorite music genre? Um, does John Williams count as a, John Williams scores count as a, a genre? Because he puts out a lot of awesome scores and theme songs. If so, there you go. Who would be your three favorite guests at the dinner table and why? My three favorite guests? Um, probably um, all three of my brothers. Um, because I get along well with each of them on their own. Um, two of them aren't a very good mix to have both of them at the same time, but individually I could handle all of them. Um, what are five things that make me happy? Family, my faith, movies, friends, and TV shows. That's not in any particular order, but that was just me keeping track of five items. Um, what music artist would you like to meet and why? Um, I think it'd be kind of cool to to pick John Williams' mind and see what how he came up with some of his his brilliant music. Last question: What is one thing you are unbeatable at? Harry Potter seen it, preset number 12. I studied it for like three days, and then since then I've been formidable in it. Um, it's been a long time since anyone's played that with me because of how formidable I became. But the same thing happened with my sis my older sister when it came to Disney seeing it, because... It didn't really matter what preset it was on. She just dominated in Disney scene it. So yeah, that is my um, my Q&A session here. Um, one of these days when I'm able to live stream, I'll actually um, put these questions into the chat box. And with my audience's approval, if they want, I will share some of their answers in my video, as well as giving my own answers. Um, but I don't know when I'll be able to live stream because I, when I first tried to live stream, it, tell, it said I needed to have at least a thousand uh, subscribers, I think. But then someone was like, well, I've been live streaming and I only have 500. So I don't know. Whenever I'm able to live stream, it'll make my rankings a bit easier. Because I would like to also get feedback in real time, as well as um, showing off my collection. Because I could, with a live stream, I could record for a lot longer um, and um, potentially. And uh, I wouldn't have to worry about uploading it. And once again, I'd be able to interact with my audience a bit better than I do just uploading. Um, what else? So, yeah, live streaming would be a big help to me. Anyway, see you in the next video. I'm not sure what the next video will be. Probably a haul video, because I want to go shopping here soon. But... Um, yeah. Take care. See you in the next video.